poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex. In this Vegas tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to render up to two times faster in Vegas Pro because I recently got a new computer and that's why I got this idea to show you how to do that. Now, I wanna make very clear that you don't need to buy a new laptop. You don't need to buy a new computer just like I did to in order to use this. I'm just gonna show you guys a couple settings you guys can use in your current station. So don't start buying new stuff that's not necessary, but this is just showing you how to render up to two times faster. So let me show you guys a little sneak peek as well. All right, guys. So this is the new computer and you can see me right there in the reflection. I hope it's visible though. Um, I'm not going to spoil any specs yet because we have a full video about us, you know, me and two friends actually assembling this computer from scratch. This is not pre-built. We just bought everything in pieces, put it together in a video and that should release in just a couple of days. But this is just to show you that I'm going to use this workstation to show you how to render up to two times faster. So that's basically what we're going to do. And that's also how I got this idea. I'm very excited to show you guys this feature. So if you guys are excited and if you guys are ready as well to render your videos up to two times faster, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as always. And let's start rendering up to two times quicker right after the intro. All right, guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 17, I have this checkerboard file in my timeline because I don't really have any footage yet because I'm not gonna really gonna render. I'm just gonna show you guys the settings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select everything in our timeline or basically anything that we would like to export like you would do in a, with a regular video. Then we're gonna hit file at the very top and we're gonna hit render as. So now we have this list right here and we have tons and tons of formats. What I always did is I picked Sony AV MVC slash MVC and I just picked my 60 FPS render template that's all pre-made and ready to go so I can just hit render at the bottom and that's it but now we're gonna take things a little differently so right here at the top it says magics AVC slash AAC MP4 we're gonna hit that one what we're gonna do then is we're gonna pick the internet HD and then you want to basically pick your frame rate if you have 30 FPS 50 FPS but I'm going to pick 60 FPS because that's what I always use for rendering my videos so then we're not not gonna hit render yet we're gonna just customize this template first and then we're gonna pay attention to the settings at the bottom so it says encode mode right here and I want to basically point out that we have two options now the main concept AVC is basically a high CPU usage so it's gonna use a lot of your CPUs power to render this video now the NV encoder is basically low CPU usage which is between 20 to 40 percent of your processor and the main concept AVC is high usage up to 90%. Now, if you already have main concept AVC checked, you can even make this higher. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the NV encoder because right here we can actually choose the performance and like how much quality there is. Because if you pay close attention, if we pick the main concept AVC, this is grayed out. We cannot edit any of this. So we're going to pick the NV encoder that allows us to how we're going to go with our preset right here. So for the preset, I would always pick low latency, high quality. And then for the RC mode, I would pick CBR. Now these settings are actually something you can apply to your template and save it, or you can just override your current one, or you can create a new one if you don't want to override it. So then while we're at it, we can actually look on the other settings. So the frame size is HD 1080p. So the resolution is 1920 by 1080. The profile is gonna be main. The frame rate is 60 as always. The bit rate, the maximum BPS is 40 million. And then the average BPS is 20 million. Now that's basically it for this tab. Let's go to audio. So right here, it is actually important that we put the bit rate, the BPS of the audio to 320. You guys always see that when you have, for example, MP3 files, most of the time, they're always 320 BPS. Okay, so now that we're over in the system tab, it says target. You want to keep this one on use master display settings. And if you go to project, video rendering quality, you want to put that one to best. So now we can actually go ahead and save this one for example 60 fps two times faster so you know which preset to pick you can just hit this diskette icon hit okay and now you can actually see it in the list down there and now you can start rendering up to two times faster and if these settings didn't make it render two times faster just go back to customize template and you want to stay off the encode motor but you want to also pick the preset and you can also choose from this list and see which one works best and also for the rc mode so you can just basically optimize these two for example like that or you can just pick the high quality and you want to keep 
keep this one also for high quality. It's totally up to you guys. Every single machine is different. So I'm not saying that these settings for my computer are working for yours. You might as well just need different ones from the NV encoder for the preset and for the RC mode. But this is basically how to do it. It's not really that complicated at all. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for the continued support. Now, I would like to mention that if these settings were not helpful to you, make sure to let me know down in the comments because I'll be doing my research in the meantime why this wouldn't work on your current station because a lot of people that are watching this might have an i3, they might have an i5 or an i7 and it can actually, you know, affect the settings quite a bit but you don't see any changes but if you do and if you find this video helpful, make sure to reward it with the like down below. Also, let me know down in the comments that it worked for you and how long it did actually take at first to render your video versus how long it takes right now with these adjusted settings. So guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks a lot for the continued support and I'll see you guys obviously in my next video.